welcome back to the shed. Welcome back. To the shed. All right, guys. Guys, uh, of All last episode, person. we're done with your turn to die. We it's finished over. It. It's over. We're but done. We, we're not done. We're, we're not done. fucking we're done. We're fucking back, baby. We're back, and we have a lot to talk about, considering the yeah. events of the banquet. Ugh. We gotta talk it out. Yeah. We gotta reconvene before yeah. the, uh, the ending is out. A little post-game discussion. If you... Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you guys want to start with? What's the topic for today? So... So? so. <laughs> oh, let's start uh, on my favorite uh, character. Yeah. Shin Tsukimi. Fuck that guy. Shin Let's talk about our actual opinions on Shin Tsukimi without shitting all over him. Okay, okay. Uh, he's mid at best. Mid at best. Why? <laughs> he, uh, he, was, he was a weird guy uh-huh. for uh, uh-huh. pretty much all so of KG. chapter KG. one. No, 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 no. KG has charm. KG was hot. And KG has charm, that's true. And Shin is meant to be hateable. And Shin is just an asshole to everybody. Mm-hmm. And he's responsible for Mishima's death. Okay, that one he is, but all the other ones he is. Okay, maybe Joe. But... Wait, why, <laughs> wait, hold on. Why is he responsible he for Mishima's? He literally told Kai, it's your turn to die. <laughs> um, So Kai fucking died, too. Bro, did I... your arms grow like 50 feet for this fucking breaching, huh? I know, I know. Oh, so, oh uh, Joe is 100% So's fault. Shin's yeah, that one is 100% his fault. But why, wait, why Mishima? Yeah, didn't that, like, he, game reveal to not be his fault? Oh, true, he did. No, vote but for... he did vote for Mishima, but that was because, um... Um, yeah. because, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I can't defend his, uh, his actions. I can defend the fact that I think he's a great character. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, um, where do you want me to start? Chapter where do you one, want to start, chapter two? idiot? Okay, we're starting chapter one. I give Dumb you five fuck. minutes, five minutes, and I will change all your minds. All right. Okay. So starting with chapter one, you know the game what? does give a lot. Of... All right. Discussion <laughs> over, guys. Discussion over. Talk about someone else, assholes. Talk about someone else. Um. Oh, uh, Chris, who's your favorite character? Oh, that's hard. I thought to go with Alice. Oh, Alice. I love Alice, but you know my boy uh kind of got gypped of any uh screen time. Yeah, I would like Alice probably a lot better. Just uh, we kind of chose the other route. I even know. gave him so Where many opportunities. Or he really gets that much development, unfortunately. Oh you, you, you're, you're making it sound like you basically told me to not push her. But you you even said, <laughs> there's there may be benefit, maybe not. You know. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I swear, you were talking way too much. And, then, and, yeah, and then you're like, <laughs> you basically said either Alice or Rekka will die without saying which one is which. Which well, is made yeah, more stressful. Yeah, because I feel like it's like, yeah, I was trying to make it stressful without blatant <laughs> it, was, it was stressful before <laughs> that. Oh, I think we would have just pushed Rek. I don't think there would have been that much thought behind it, but well, yeah, if they're playing that completely blind. I think most people would just push Reko. Yeah, I did. I immediately pushed her on my first game. Yeah, and but, I regretted it. But the moral compass. The moral. But, compass. but the doll guys. The doll. It's a fucking doll, guys. Get over. It. Get over, it, guys. Get over. Then it. You- I thought either Gin or Katara would die. Yeah. Oh, that was so messed up, man. When you guys were just like. Let's kill Gin for fun. <laughs> I thought that was fun. <laughs> a literal ten year old getting killed for fun. Wait, wait, when in the last part or like the second? Uh, the last part. Last part the right. End of the banquet. <laughs> Let's kill Look, Gin for lols. I may have killed a twelve year old in two we seconds tried. for a twenty three year old man, but in reality, um, yeah, what's there? I have no ten defense. and twelve. Nothing. Um, Kana, she was up against my favorite character, so. <laughs> and, he won, and your favorite character, his was, last wish was to kill him. Yeah, Gin was also up against KG, though. Uh-huh. There was a chance. There was a chance we could have lost KG. That was a kid asshole. <laughs> what? He <laughs> killed Kana. He would have killed Kana. He, uh, he did kill Kana. Yeah, um, you did it on your own playthrough. Um, in my game, uh, mm-hmm. I didn't think about it. <laughs> I am. I put that portrait so far. I had bad. no regrets in my place. <laughs> I really didn't, actually. I really didn't. <laughs> and I claim to like Kana. I love Kana, but like, yeah, right. I love Kana, but I'd kill her in an instant. Who's you guys' favorite dummy? 
<laughs> favorite dummy. My favorite dummy is honestly probably um, Karamata. Let's go! <laughs> oh, Karamata! Mine's Mai. Yes, yeah. both good Fuck choices. It. Mai is adorable. Karamata, Karamata, Karamata and Mai really grew on me. Yeah, Karamata and Mai. I think Karamata, Mai, and Rambar are like the, like, the best ones by default. Yeah, they are the top three. <laughs> Yeah, Rambar is my favorite, but Kuramata's like right behind him, and Maya's right behind Kuramata. Yeah, I'd so. probably go Kuramata, Mai, and then Ranmaro. Fair enough. Rambar is... His uh, character arc. <laughs> uh... <laughs> his character degression. He was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. He was all right to you. Three times. Over. Yeah, bro got worse. That's what's been through. And then they killed him off, like, mandatory, which was kind of... Yeah. Strange. I really think he had the most potential to be like a better character from the banquet, like keeping him alive. True, so, sure, make him not an incel. Exactly, he could have had more development. His arc wasn't over, and they killed him. Mandatory, you can't even keep him alive. Yeah, I mean, well, like I was fine with keeping Ayazaka alive for the sake of Gin, but like I would have so much rather have Ram Marvin instead of him. Sorry, Ayazaka, you're Superman, but like, <laughs> yeah. True. Off the glasses, bro. I think it was so awesome. It's kind of um, sick. Uh, kind of badass. Yeah. He's I really mean, cool. you got Ayazaka, who's like the normal dude. You got Kuramata, who's a literal anime character. <laughs> and then you yeah. got Mai, who's like the honestly the saddest one. She now has to live with Miri's hands on her, on her own hand. But you Except, know, my favorite dummy is honestly Kitaro. Yo, true. If we're talking logically <laughs> or like true. technically, oh, Kitaro. Kitaro's a goat. I, I'm telling you, man. I was telling Brian that shit. I was so hard to get through without crying, man. <laughs> I was trying so unbelievably hard. Over the biggest tear troopers of the game. That oh, and Joe AI. And the Joe AI. Oh. Uh, yeah, like tear jerkers is is easily Joe. Uh, Alice was more like absolutely shocking. Yeah, Alice is shock. I mean, I think the thing is, is that like the Alice, yeah, I Alice love just would have hit more. Factor when he has the oh hit. yeah, the, the what what? Huh? <laughs> that was so floating just right through his chest. I love that shot where it's just like the camera's right behind the hole and it's like <laughs> yeah. Ranger and Soft Wind. It's so good. But I remember anytime I look back on that. Uh, you in the video would say that's such an awful shot, and then you watching the video back would always say that the same thing. Yeah, it's such a because it's such an iconic shot, man. A fucking camera through the hole in his stomach. It's so fucking raw. But <laughs> I mean, so yeah. But the guitar thing, I the first time I saw the Joey, I think I was like sobbing. But with the guitar thing, I didn't cry until I actually had to do it because I was like, man. Kitaro, like, grew on me so much just in this one playthrough. I don't he, know what happened. Was he not that high up in your other playthroughs? No, he was still top five, but he was at, like, the very bottom. He grew up, like, three fucking spots. Oh, like, shit. Just in this so who, got, who got pushed down? <laughs> who got pushed down? Keiji got pushed down one. Oh. And, um, Alice got pushed down two. Oh. But that's probably because I didn't get any of Alice in this route. True. Like, he was basically gone. So, like, you missed out seeing on, your, other on the best me. Alice voice. True. I have so much love for Chris's Alice. It is unbelievable. Thank you. God bless. Favorite voices? Shed viewers? <laughs> Your favorite voices? Shed viewers, leave a comment? <laughs> yeah, Team KG, Team Kitaro, or Team Alice? <laughs> pick one. <laughs> you can't pick one, the fuck? Yeah, they're all awesome. Especially when Kitaro and KG got more screen time. Yeah. <laughs> By like a whole <laughs> chapter. Significantly more. A whole like fucking like... 15 part chapter <laughs> yeah so you, you got you got the first part of chapter one second half of chapter two and the entirety of chapter three yeah but still those are easily all of our like <laughs> three of our best so i think i right, thought right. my and was my best until like chapter three and i was like wow kitaro is awesome we, we always talk about the best but let's go over who had who what was everyone's worst voice oh mine was easily hinako <laughs> the Hinako one, yeah. I tried really hard to make it sound like a creature, but it was too hard. Yeah, on, it kept switching between just you whispering and, and Hifumi. Yeah, I know. Because Hifumi is just such an iconic voice. I can't do any stupid nerd voice without sounding like Hifumi. <laughs> Hifumi is your hard. greatest voice of all time. He really is, man. 
But her and um, Mate Four are my worst, definitely. Which are two Chapter Three ones, but mm. still. Yeah, I think and my then, Chapter Three voices are my worst. Yeah, but it's hard to make up voices out of nowhere. I thought. I think I I kept catching myself. Did you guys think that uh, Hayazaka sounded a bit like Monokuma? A little bit, sometimes. It was just kind of um the way he picks it up. Mm. I'm a higher pitch man, so I'm Monokuma. I like the way he talks. But yeah, I guess. Why did I cry again? Bro's thinking about Kitaro. He's gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the coffin, which by yeah. the way, said viewers, CNS twenty nine <laughs> actually spoiled that moment. Yeah. Except he, he spoiled it for me, and I don't think he realized he spoiled it for himself, too. I didn't. <laughs> no lethal injection. Fucking Jack was like, it's an injection. I was like, oh, I, I guess so. The and only I, reason I said that is because when Joe got, he got spoiled for it, too. Because he's looking on Kitaro's wiki, and he called me in, and he was like, is this Kitaro getting the lethal injection or something? <laughs> I'm like, what? And he's like, why is, uh, why is my there? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. You should play more and figure that out. But yeah, I yeah. mean, actually, that I forgot about that. I didn't because it wasn't at the top of my mind. And then I think the next day, uh, I saw a post on Reddit of like a list of characters, and I didn't see Kutaro and like the survivors. Yeah. So I was like, oh. It's like when you look at a wiki for something, and then you look at a character, and then it's his status deceased. Also, really Jack, I did. I would have never noticed that. So was by uh wiki with Shin on on uh until you said it. Yeah, that's why I'm, I didn't say shit until we actually finished the game. <laughs> no, but like I, I remember also, I, Chad viewers, I we went, kind of spoiled that. <laughs> yeah, that was the wiki. <laughs> that was the wiki. Oh yeah, we did. That. Time we I, had it as Shin. I went on his wiki a couple times. I never noticed it, and then one time I went on the wiki in a call, and Jack's like, "Don't look at the name." I'm like, "What yeah. are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, I didn't look at the name, thankfully, but. No, I I had to at that point. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Didn't happen to remember it. It's okay. I mean, I think this Shin twist is one of the better twists in the game. So. My name is Shaden Tsukimi. That's kind of like the peak Ooh. of his character. So like, yeah, we only died. And then he died. Yeah. Only oh, other thing I was the uh, the sibling twist. <laughs> yeah, that's a good <laughs> that, twist. So Shin was related to Kana. I Which like that honestly wasn't that big of a deal. When I got that spoiled, I assumed that um, Shin must have knew that they were related, but Kana didn't. Yeah. But instead, both of them didn't yeah, even know. Yeah, both of them. But Shin wished for it. Mm-hmm. And Midori made all the wishes come true. So I kind of. Um, I think it would have been better if Shin knew that was through, little. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see Shin's reaction to that. Oh yeah, it must be fucking gold. Ha ha! I wish they <laughs> talked about it. Ha ha ha! <laughs> they don't, guys. They don't talk about it in the shit. Oh. <laughs> Seems that you're pretty upset about that too, huh? Yeah, the Connor Rats is better. Ha ha ha! God, please. Why? Why must I be punished for keeping my favorite character alive <laughs> with a worse route? <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, I look. I love Shin to death. Jack, but like buddy. Connor's route is just better. It has sure. better twists. It has more revelations. Shin as a character is complete after the second main game, so it doesn't really need to be around. But, like, who knows? Maybe the do final you, chapter will change that. Do you think he developed Kana's story first and then was like, oh, yeah, shit, I gotta make another one? Yeah, that's why I think so. Because, like, the Kana one feels more complete. The only thing that feels unique about the Shin route is the whole Red Mars thing. Mm. Which, again, I like. But, like, a lot of people don't because they just kill off a of Yabusame without thinking. Which... I think I it mean, makes... Um... It makes Red Mario a bigger dick. Yeah, a bigger fucking asshole. And it's, and it's you, cool that uh, 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 like Sarah's Jola's self is shown. Yeah, no, I fucking look. I put Sarah so high not because like cause Sarah, in my opinion, she's a great protagonist. But like the fact that they're actually pushing into that evil side of her in a row is really interesting. Mm-hmm. I want to see more of that. I really hope they dig into it more in the Shin route. That would make it worth playing if they keep digging into that part of her character. Yeah, she just that's goes, the part that Shin was afraid of. That's why he was so scared of Sarah, because hmm. she has a fucking almost twenty percent win rate with with Joe. Imagine without him, probably a fucking like thirty percent win rate or something like that. Gotta um, find out why. Yeah, she, she is in the, in the finale. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. KG's gonna break down finally. <laughs> yeah, I want to see KG cry, man. He's never cried. 
I want to see like, he, was, he was pretty close to breaking down with the uh, meter. His old backstory, he was. yeah. Yeah, that was a good moment, too. That was actually one of my favorite parts of Chapter 3. AG had so many badass moments in Chapter 3. <laughs> he did! The it was returns. just non-stop. The double return. <laughs> All of his returns, bro. Yeah, that shit was huge. You were sick! I mean, the thing is about KG is that, like, he's a, like, sidekick character, but he manages to not feel invasive and annoying like other side characters of the genre of yeah. game. Like, most Dang and Rampa sidekicks feel kind of forced and shoved down your throat. A.K.A. Maki Harakawa. <laughs> Go watch C-Nash 299's video. <laughs> True. Still, <laughs> so, I talk about how much I hate Maki Harakawa in that video. I talk but, about that I like her. Yeah, Chris loves her. That's She's so, so cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... The closest, I would say, to quality of KG, even though it's not even that close, is Chiaki, because Chiaki's alright. She's pretty good. But I was going to say Kaito. Is... Oh, Kaito, yeah. Kaito is technically a sidekick. He is a great character. You know I actually love Kaito, so I can actually say that with confidence. But True. KG is just a really, really <laughs> good character. I have usually, I don't think he's ever gone lower than my top five. Kaito? In my, uh, both Kaito and, um, and KG. I think they're like we're both really good characters because he, you know he's the mastermind, so guys. <laughs> that would suck so bad. It would make the most sense. Yeah, either that or Sarah being. I think Sarah being the mastermind make a lot of sense because the only dad. options really for who the if there is someone like of the main characters who's evil, mm -hmm. the the only options are Sarah, KG, or Gin because no one else is. Consistent. Yeah. Shin, like in the Shin route, there is no way he could be the mastermind. He is too fucking like killed by the game itself to actually be a mastermind. Yeah, and Kana, there's no way either. Head in the other route, yeah. unless like the only reason that someone who died could be evil is like it was a fake out, like with the dolls, because anybody could be a fucking doll. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but like you know. Yeah, I mean, I think that you're right about the mastermind thing. I want Sarah to be the mastermind out of those three, like, very much. If it has to be one of the main characters, because they're kind of building, a, like, up Sarah being the mastermind. I, I think it's going to be Sarah's dad. Oh, yeah, there's all <laughs> that's what I oh. really want to be Mr. T. Delgan, because, again, I love when an outside force is the mastermind, and it's not one of the main characters. I think because... it's Mr. T. Dillon, and I think that he was also the meister. Yeah, because it has the... Why did they show that fucking thing in the end of chapter two with Mr. T. Doing doing the exact same pose as Meister? It's it, I think it's basically confirmed, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it w it's basically confirmed. It would make sense, and it would easily lead into like Sarah having something to do with the death game itself, because Shen found those emails in chapter one of Kai talking to the uh, to Mr. T. Doing about the death game. Hmm. So he knows something. He knows <laughs> something, bro. Mr. Chidui. And, and that's why Sarah's been protected chapter. the whole fucking time. True. Another point from the final chapter is who the fuck brought Sarah in? Mr. Chidui. With their wish. Wait, because there was a guy with, they kept talking about it, like someone with their wish brought Sarah in. KG. It's either KG or Joe. It's one or the other. Well, I thought, I Joe, I thought Joe was the handicap for Sarah. Yeah, so I don't think he's possible. I think it has to be KG. It ha yeah, it has to. Wait. Then how did KG it already has, know? It has to be, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, hold on. Obviously, KG's like obsessed with her. What? KG also has like a 10% rate of winning. Participants are the ones that are chosen, right? Or no? Yeah. Oh, candidates are the ones that are chosen. Okay, so Sarah's a candidate. Joe's a participant. Yeah. Joe is, uh, now is also a participant. So is Kai. Because they're like helpers of the death game. Now is there to handicap Mishima, and Joe is there to handicap uh, Sarah, and then now is or not now. Uh, what's his Kana? Face? Kana Kana was there, I think, because of Shin's wish. Because obviously, Midori needed to fulfill all the wishes, and Shin wished to meet his biological sister. So, yeah, and she he was or she was brought in. So that's why she was. Who is he? Oh, Kai. Kai was not a candidate because he was just helping out Asunara make the death game. So he was not a candidate because of that. But I'm looking, at, I'm looking at one of the icebergs right now. It kind of sucks because think about it. If Kai lived to the chest, yeah, the second main game, he probably would have gotten the sacrifice instead of now. Because <laughs> he is also Bro. 
a participant. It could have been either of them. And yeah. God, I wanted he out of all the characters in the game who died early, I wanted Kai to live the most. He would have been so cool. Yeah, like, true. If I if I had to bring back a chapter one character, I'd bring back Kai. Yeah, Kai or Mishima. Mishima's used enough throughout the whole game where it feels like Kai deserves to be brought back more. Yeah, Kai became the most irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, which sucks because he was the most interesting one. He's mm-hmm. also like the coolest character out of the three who died. We love Joe to death, and we love Mishima to death, but Kai just... We didn't love Joe until he was dead. I know, literally. <laughs> yeah, no. And again, I shadow over Joe because I didn't really like him that much either. We, and then we, we all really shadow him being like, oh, you're just a classmate, you're nobody. <laughs> and and then, you're and not then, a classmate. Yeah, and then, and then he was like, oh, I'm the sacrifice. No, yeah, that shit was... <laughs> instantly everything changed. <laughs> yeah, that shit was fucking nuts. I, I, I think, like, the thing about the chapter one Mania that's so good, uh... Joe compared it to a trial from Danganronpa, which I won't go into the specifics, but he was like, the first main game of De- Your Turn to Die is like a better, like a better or equal version of V3's Chapter 1. But like, with an established character. Right. Yeah, like, or a character dynamic. Like yeah. Joe and Sarah. Compared to blank and blank. <laughs> but still. Joe and Sarah hits extremely hard because they were already best friends for like their entire life. Well, for a good a good amount of time before the game. Yeah, it was like mm, end of middle school, I think. Or like middle school, like early middle school when they became friends. Mm-hmm. And the game takes place like when they're in like uh, like junior high or like junior year. Mm. So they're like 17. So like uh, they've been friends for like a good four or five years at that point, or like best friends. So they have that established connection before the death game and it makes it hit a lot harder. So... Oh, wait, there's two things on this iceberg. I gotta ask a question to see if you know anything about them. Hmm. The second to lowest thing has a thing called Now's Crotch. You know what that is? Oh, no idea. <laughs> <That was laughs> no okay. fucking clue. And then the last section has Kai's left eye. Kai's left eye. Yeah, I, have, I don't know anything about either of those. Hmm. Also, this is another good question. Uh, do you guys have, like, a favorite sprite of the characters? Um... There's a lot of sprites, so like, take your time. <laughs> I have think. a favorite from each character. Uh, I do like so, so Shin's sprites. Oh, his sprites are so. The one where he's holding his beanie is my favorite. I like, I like when he's like freaking out at the end. Yeah. I oh like yeah, where he has his one. hands out and Dumbass. he looks absolutely fucking rabid, absolutely feral. That's the best out of Shin's sprites. Yeah. I also love the one where he shows KG his neck. That's oh, a yeah. smug that fucking gay. Oh, yeah, it's hella gay. I really made that one as gay as possible <laughs> in the playthrough, but no. still, I looked back at it after we recorded, and I was like, "Man, I made that so fucking gay." <laughs> I really oh. went in on it. Well, other ones. Uh oh, that KG sprite where he's like, "It's your turn to die," so where he has like the red face. That one is fucking sweet. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna go on the wiki real quick to see. Yeah, he only. I'll send it in chat. He only does it like twice. But it's really okay, fucking Sarah sweet. sprites. She's almost the same for all of them. There's this cage one I was talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's fucking. Cagey's sweet. got all the hottest sprites. He the does. hand on that. Man. Oh my god, that one never gets old. The Kitaro one where he has his hat off is fucking crazy. Yeah, that's it. that's my favorite Kitaro one. It's so good. This one. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh! Too bad they Sheesh. used it in a moment that didn't even matter. <laughs> oh, I saw on the wiki that there's a sprite of Gin with, like, cat yeah, face. Yeah, with a cat face and a dog pillow. I don't know why that is a sprite. Is it in the like, game? No. And so, and it doesn't say unused, so I, it might be. I just never have seen it. I'm gonna send it for Brian's, uh, so Brian can see it. I, oh, yeah, but I never noticed a Mew Chen wasn't there. This shit is so fucking weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's from like a Halloween thing or something like that. I have no idea. It's fucking weird looking. I don't like it at all. There is, oh, I like. Oh, one of my favorite sprites is when Nao gets like flustered and she has her arm up. Oh, yeah, I also like that one. Uh, let me see. And also, this one of fucking Gin. Oh my god, I love this Gin sprite. Also, it's so stupid. Now, now pushing Rekka was technically a sprite, so you know. <laughs> oh, I love no. that. Oh, <laughs> Brian loves that. That sprite. one is great. Mm hmm. Yeah, but that Gin sprite is so cute, man. Oh, yeah, that's a really good one. Every time that sprite came out, because like, now looks so cute in that. 
I know, right? <laughs> there was one but facial it... expression on her default sprite that made her look like she was actually 20. Oh, yeah. I like the smile one for her default. I think it's like the one where she's just doing the big old smile. I realize that her like shock face from the first chapter isn't really shown as much after a while. Yeah, that's true. I also... You especially, please. My favorite you... sprite... Actually, I think Whoa. my favorite sprite is actually one of Alice's. Is this one in the game? Uh, It is in Your Time to Shine. Okay. Uh, There's a blushing one for Sarah, too. That's in Your Time to Shine. I think I used that one before. Yeah. Alice's oh, sprites aren't that This cool. one. Oh, man. I fucking love this sprite. He looks so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and there's this one. Oh, my God. Alice's have Alice has like the least change in all the sprites. I love that sprite so much. It's only in the fucking Alice rap, but I love that sprite. When do the hallucinations of any other characters pop up? Or are those fan made? They are they're made by Donkey Die, but they just don't pop up at all. Hmm. I don't know why. I also love the Yabu Same's JoJo sprites. The one where they do this fucking face. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love those sprites. I like that they both do that. Yeah, and it's a fucking, it's a family thing. It's fucking sweet. Do you, it's so sweet. You think, so do, sweet. do Shin and Kana have any similar sprites? Uh, unfortunately not. I wish they did. But, oh, I love, by the way, that Kana sprite where she's thinking and she's holding her bucket, I fucking love that sprite. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> I love that, I love how they actually use the fucking bucket. Because until then, she only has the one sprite, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, there's this sprite of Shen where he's standing, like, really weird. He looks like kind of a goofball. He looks like K young KG. Yeah, they know. <laughs> he is doing the young oh, yeah. KG. He has the same stance. Yo, make it a trend, guys. Do the young KG. Dude, <laughs> Do the what, young what, KG. Is, <laughs> what is this? She has a, she's a fucking flan on her head. Oh, that's from your time to shine. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's because, um, oh, I don't want to spoil it just in case we get the photos of them for Kana. I won't say anything. Okay. It is from Mishima, so... There is one for Kai where he tries on her bucket. It's kind of. Oh, nice. I think I've seen that. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sweet. Kai gets a lot of good sprites in her. Oh, you know what I like? I like um, Ren Mario when he has his hand in his 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 face in his hand. Oh yeah, that's a good. I like the one where he's or that version of the sprite where he's like looking back. I love that one. Yeah, he yeah. looks so. I thought he's a really odd word. He looks so breathable. In that also, one. also when he's like, I killed him. I killed. Oh him. yeah. So good. I like his cute sprite that he only does literally once. This one. He only does it once in the banquet, and then he dies right after. He's actually happy in that one. <laughs> yeah. I remember when but, he first showed us the dummies, I was like, Ren Mario is kind of ugly, but now he's grown on me. Uh, yes, it's like, I love his design, man. It's literally just cotton yeah. candy hair. No, I thought his design was so silly before. Yeah. But Honestly, I, I That like happens with a lot of characters. Yeah. Like, I remember when I first was uh, watching Jojo Part 5. I thought Bruno was stupid. Oh, but Bruno's like my favorite design for this. Yeah, now, now it's like my favorite. Well. Yeah, I love the hair. And the fucking dumb suit. Same with Sabin. Also, I was like, she's so stupid looking. Yeah. <laughs> now. This but is now. also easily, I think, a top three sprite in the game for me. This yeah. Mario one. So good. I wish we got to see that. But at the same time, it does kind of like... It happens and then it doesn't. Like, either... If you don't, if you fail the conduit puzzle, he dies right after that. But if you don't, he dies the same way in the banquet. So mm. it doesn't even matter. It's just like the he just becomes a different character. Like he just becomes really annoying and an asshole to everybody mm. when he's like that. Okay. So. Um. Or right, back to the that quick topic we said. What's everyone's favorite character design? Oh, characters are easily Gin. <laughs> I fucking love Gin's fucking outfit. <laughs> it's so, so goofy. It's so my, cute. It's so goofy. My favorite character design is Mai's. My. He's adorable. He's adorable. He's got a brown hair. Then he got, he got that bread on your hair. And he's got bread on the red. I think it's just a solid design all around. I it agree with work that. the most. That is my second favorite dummy design next to Ren Maru. There, there's three I really like. I can't like 
put them in the right order. Oh, right. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was about to say one, and I'm looking at the list right now. I was like, oh, no, but they're cool, too. Oh, wait, but what about them? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So one. first, I was going to say Anzu, because I really, I really like the big hood and just like the color Yeah, Anzu is pretty fucking sweet. And then I was like, oh, wait, but Alice is really cool. At first, I thought he was kind of dumb looking. Like, oh, why is his hair so rainbow? But no. Uh, I was grummy sore. I thought he was so ugly. Yeah. Until like I actually did his route and he was there more, and I was like, "Wow, Alice is kind of hot." He's so cool. <laughs> yeah, he is really fucking. And then sweet. Joe, I love Joe. Joe's design grew on me so much because I thought his sprite work was so fucking ugly. Yeah, I love. And his... then I was like, "Wait, I actually like it." I love his hair. I love his school uniform. I like the dog and his like. Yeah, the dog and the his, clips in his yeah, hair. His jewelry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, I, I think so that's probably Joe's probably my second favorite design. Yeah. What is my top three? Gin, uh, Kitaro, and... Uh, but, I'm looking at, this, at these fucking pictures, and, like, they're all so cool. Yeah. Like, I think that Gin... But I love Sos, too. I love how simple Sos is. The fucking... Just the beanie and the scarf. It's such a good combo. He just looks fucking like an annoying douchebag. My least favorite, I think, is Meister. Yeah, Meister's it, it's cool, but like it's kind of lame at the same. Kind of, kind of bland for your turn to die. Yeah, considering Metery came right before him, and he has a pretty like stylistic design. Got the scarf, got the suit. True. Oh yeah, I, I I said this to Jack. I don't know if you've been here when I've said it, but uh, I think Metery looks kind of dumb with the scarf. I like him much better <laughs> without it. I love the fucking scarf so much. <laughs> Just uh, it's the Shen thing, or yes, it's his thing. Shen again. Well, let's put it this way. The reason it is Shin again is because Shin, like, totally adopted his personality. And the scarf is, like, the symbol of his personality on Shin. That's why he takes it off in the Kano ending. Or, like, the Shin and... Shin route. What the fuck? The Kano route. He takes it off. Bro. Yeah. Because he's done with it. He's done with that personality. But, oh. I mean, Midori is the original owner of the scarf, so... Also, I'm a little confused about the whole Hinako doll thing. Yeah, that twist fucking sucks. It's like my least favorite part of the game. <laughs> so, so there is a human Hinako that died, and then this human took the place yeah. of what the it would be. The human Hinako died in the first trial with Alice, and then there was another human that was working with Asundara who took her place and why, acted like a dummy. Why couldn't you just put a real dummy? Exactly. <laughs> and also, why did they go through it in like not even thirty minutes? Like that is a twist that needed time to sit True. for it to be actually effective. And then they just keep moving on. It was easily the worst part of the banquet. So they killed a person, they just didn't care. Yeah, it was easily the worst. Death. Honestly, <laughs> now, now you say that, even, like, they they spent the whole chapter, like, building up the dummies, and then they just killed them all with, like, no remorse. Oh, I I like that part, just because it's like, they give you so much hope, that's like, yeah, we're gonna be able to save all the dummies, and nope, bye, bye, bye. Yeah, but even, <laughs> even that, like, the human characters that are in control have no remorse for it. Eh, Sarah, it depends. It's like the character specific yeah. stuff. Sarah, like, like Sarah will be like, oh, 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 and then be like, okay, next. Sarah's upset about Rambaru. Kitaro's upset about Mai, obviously. Gin would be is upset about Hayazaka if he dies. And uh, Anzu was just, everyone was upset about it. Because Anzu was just like a fuck you from Midori. Which, mm-hmm. again, that's how you make a doll that didn't really matter actually feel bad for them dying. Because yeah. Hinako didn't matter. But they try to make her matter with a shitty twist. And then Anzu dying felt more emotional, even though I hate, like, don't even know shit about her and don't even like her that much. Mm-hmm. I still felt really bad about her dying because it was, like, so out of nowhere. And Meteor's like, yeah, fuck this bitch in particular. She finally started talking in the, in the banquet, too. Yeah, I feel like she could have been pretty good if she got more time. But, I mean, oh, speaking of character, been pretty good if they had more time. Ranger. Yeah, Ranger. Ranger. You are Ranger big... could have been easily my favorite four master if he got Gashu. Gashu is already I... the greatest fucking four master. If he had more time, oh, he'd man. be one of the greatest characters. It would have been a it's, rap. it's hard to top that that exit though. Yeah, I know. Joe said it's the Ross moment in the whole game where he just shoots himself in the head. When he shoots himself, yeah, no. Nah. I mean, it's it an extension, there. right? No. Yeah. And then Sarah just like he's a demon. He's a demon. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, the, end of the, the last 30 minutes of the second main game is like the peak of this game's writing <laughs> it's so fucking good like the split in the route stuff like seeing what everyone votes and why and fucking gosh you shooting himself after trying to win the extension mm-hmm. and also shin finally cooperating with everybody 
This Mr. game, this man game voted is, for fun. Yeah, oh my god. This game is full of like such good twists. Yeah, I know. And they the thing about the second main game, which I love too, is that every like vote hits and feels like extremely important. Like every vote has a reaction from every other person on the team. Mm-hmm. Like when KG votes for Kana immediately, Kitara's like, that's a demonic act you just committed, KG. I cannot respect that. I'm voting for so. Like, he has a reason for it. It's not like he's just doing it because he's an NPC who has yeah. no feelings. They yeah. all have their own personal feelings towards the characters. It's yeah. cool. Uh, even looking, it's hard to judge it because we, uh, we literally just finished the game last night. Yeah. But uh, I think Kitaro and Gin, that moment is my favorite of the... Yeah, it is so good because, like I said, Gin and Kitaro, like, they're both of their character arcs are, like, woven into each other's character. Kitaro wouldn't be Kitaro without Gin. And Gin wouldn't begin without Kitaro. Like, a gorilla. And then seeing him, like, cry to him as he died, and Kitaro, like, the selfish Kitaro from Chapter 1 saying that his biggest weakness was how big his heart was in Chapter 3. It's fucking nuts. That character arc is, like, a total 180 on it, and I love it. He, like, yeah. he became a totally different character by the end, and it felt ch- natural. He was gonna ban everyone in Chapter 2, and then, like, wouldn't switch over to save Gin. Yeah, and they actually made it feel like it mattered because he mentions the fact that he felt like he was going to do it. They don't say that he did it because that's a bad thing, but they at least acknowledge the fact that he was actually thought about doing it. And yeah, and, and then use the it. same CG, which is cool. Yeah, which is fucking sweet. It makes it feel like it's a part of the game that we saw, and like we saw him struggle, and like we hated him for it. And then he came back and improved and became a better person. But... Yeah, I love getting Kitaro. From bottom of good to like top of <laughs> yeah to like goat. Yeah, he's so cool. <laughs> he's so fucking based, man. I mean, him again, Gin. I know you guys don't like Gin as much. I just think it's so cool to have like, especially after playing Danger on for so long, having an actual like elementary schooler here who actually develops as a character and like feels like he could be an important part of the team. Sometimes it's pretty sweet. Yeah, Gin but, is cool. It's just comparing comparing it to other characters. He's not very. He doesn't do much. Yeah, I feel like like Kana's the better kid character because she gets to shine more often. I think Kana had a bigger hurdle of like because she couldn't do anything at the beginning. Yeah, she was a fucking loser. She was an unremarkable character at the beginning of the game. She did nothing. She's basically a non-character in chapter one, and then. Chapter 2, Naki Dai made her into an actual character over the course of one chapter. So, yeah. it was an actual good character at that. But Also, the, the two sacrifice deaths have been very... Sad. Oh, now's is the... God, now... Oh, now deserve better, man. Now? So that, fucked up. I hate... I mean, I love it, but I hate the, uh, the CG of... Well, not CG, the pixel art of her painting. Oh, yeah, that shit. In the fucking Alice route, when Reko's there, too, that yeah. shit hits so hard. Because she, all she wanted to do was finish that painting. That is it. And then the fucking bad ending, oh my god. The sacrifice Don't ending, cry, man. Sarah. That shit is so good. It was just like, <laughs> you did nothing, nothing wrong, Sarah. Sarah. Wrong, Sarah. That shit was fucking awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. I, and also, it has my favorite um, KG Shin moment in the whole game. Where Keiji's so fucking shocked that Sarah betrayed him, and he's like, this is how it feels to be a fucking weakling. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know how it feels to be me every day of my goddamn life. Speaking it's of so ships, good. or speaking of now and, now and Reko, no. what's, your, oh. what's your favorite <laughs> ships, guys? Favorite ships? Now and Reko, the lesbian. Let's see. <laughs> or, even, <laughs> or, or, or even not ships, like, what's your favorite pair? My favorite pairing is well, is the best bro pairing in the entire game. He hands down. Every moment with Kitaro and KG in a big event always hit, no matter what. Whenever they did some like cool ass fucking stunt to like trick the fucking kidnappers, that shit was goaded. <laughs> yeah, no, that was awesome. Yeah, the fucking chapter two one with the key master this now is so fucking cool. Oh wait, like, I just realized. Like, that, like char- that, good, that character chart you sent when we first started playing, that was a screenshot from the wiki, wasn't it? Indeed it was. Like I'm looking I'm looking at the wiki right now and it's like this looks really familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the easiest thing to map with our names. So like I could just put the initials over the characters' boxes. I remember you uh, we were playing it out and you got the bottom left corner. Yeah, basically. I got Kai, Gin, So and Kitaro. But I, I remember when we were discussing like, okay, should we give Brian Sarah or Brian Joe? Yeah, no, I was happy that we did it the way we did. 
Because Brian's Joe is like iconic. Yeah, it worked out. I love hey, you, Sarah. Sarah. I love you, Sarah. Love you, Sarah. Also, for you guys, because I know that like this game looked pretty lame when we first started playing here. Like at least when I first showed it. When did you guys start actually really liking the game? Mishima. Mishima. <laughs> Mishima. Honestly, we we sold that so hard that actually, like I feel like that's just such an easy part. Okay, so like like the first episode, I was like, okay, I get it. This is cool. It's not yeah. like anything super great yet. And mm-hmm. then the Russian roulette I thought was really cool. Especially mm-hmm. when you were like, okay, this is very hard. And then I got it instantly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant it to. <laughs> I wasn't even saying to hype it up. I actually just had trouble with it. Um, but yeah, and then when Mishima died, and I was like, okay, this is going to stick. Like, this is... Yeah, no, once once we saw how sad, or I saw how sad you two were from Mishima's dying, I was like, yeah, Joe is going to hit them even harder. <laughs> I was like, Joe, Jojo, like my brother, he literally, like, broke his fucking mouse clicking that button. <laughs> he got up to the top in, I think, five seconds. Oh my god. It was ridiculous. Like, and he was not saying anything, and all I heard was the like mashing of his mouse. Oh my god! Till he died, and then all I heard was just, "Damn it!" Sound <laughs> <laughs> like Taro. <laughs> He's like, "Why did all my favorite characters die?" Because his favorite character was Joe until he died, and then Alice became his favorite. And then Alice uh, died. Yeah. When and I then Taro played... died. <laughs> yeah. When I first played the game. Uh, my two favorites were Shin and uh, Keiji, I think. And then when I finished it, my two favorites were Shin and Gin. And then I think Kutaro and Keiji were right behind them. So, still. I mean, I'm actually surprised for Brian, at least, because I thought, at least to, like, the beginning of Chapter 2, you only loved Keiji because of the dumb fucking groomer thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Keiji's actually cool. Like, did you start liking him? Like, when did you start really liking him? Um. Oh. Uh, Wait, are you doing I, don't know. I think probably towards the end of the first chapter when like he kept like taking charge. Oh, he was yeah. kind of badass. Yeah, no, because there's a <laughs> point where like you stop joking around with him. You're like, wait, this guy's actually pretty cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at first he was the groomer, and we laughed at every single time through the voice. Yeah, that's and why then... I didn't want to make him my profile picture. <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden <laughs> the KG profile just started sticking. Of my profile pic, but then he was actually cool, so that's yeah. why I still have. That's why I kept telling you all. I was like, just wait out, KG man. He's an actual good character. <laughs> and I was right. I mean. The thing is, also, when we first started the game, I was like, yeah, you guys probably aren't going to like Shin as much as I do. Like, he's kind of like a very specific taste of character. He's a dick, but he also has, like, really good motivations for being a dick. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you don't like him the entire game, then you probably will gain some respect for him at the end of Chapter 2, but won't, like, like him. You know what I mean? Like, you'll respect him and be like, yeah, he made a great choice and, like, he's sympathetic. But, like, you don't have to love him, you know? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, which makes sense. I totally get it, because I love his personality, and I think he is, like, the fact that this motherfucker had a 0% chance of winning this death game, and still chose to protect someone else. As you as you said, when you, when you first showed off the characters, that the record was Nash core, so is yeah. very, <laughs> Shin is very Jacko core. Yeah, he is. Him, yeah. Ichi, Nagito, any character like that, they are all my favorites, always. I don't know why, I think I just like seeing how to mix up that formula in a death game. Like, is there's so many characters that are like that archetype, and I just like seeing how creators will do them differently. Did because you, have, you could easily just make a Nagito clone. Before we played, but, did you have a prediction of who Brian's would be? Uh, like, Brian's favorite character? Mm-hmm. I thought Brian's favorite character would either be Joe or Mishimo when we first started playing. I didn't think he'd like yeah. Keiji too much. When we They're first still started. all my top three, so... Yeah, exactly. They're in his top <laughs> so, three. yeah. It was pretty close. I felt like Brian. I feel like you're the type of person who'd like an av- like an average kind of guy in this type of situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Joe's uh, all. Yeah, Joe's sweet. Joe. Did you have any other choices for me, or is it just Reco? Uh, Reco, Alice, and I think I thought Mai would be really high on your thing, which was true. Like when I saw Mai, I was like, this character seems like someone Chris would really like. <laughs> and then I left like. Obviously, I like the crazies. I like Meadery. I like Ranger. I like Shin. I like crazy motherfuckers, but ones that get some kind of motivate. Either totally evil, despicable bastards, 
or kind of evil people yeah. who have reasoning for their You see, I, I like psychopath characters. I just don't like the ones that, like, try to play off as the nice guy asshole. Yeah, that's the thing about Shin. He's, like, he's the nice guy asshole. But, like, he has, like, I guess because he had to, like, hide away his actual personality, where he is a nice person, and, like, had to become this massive douchebag. But, like, at the same time, I know everyone who played this game, who played Danganronpa, they see that Shin breakdown, they're like, oh, here we go, this guy's just Nagito. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's just another Nagito. Also, I don't but... understand the comparison of him and Kokichi. I know, right? Jesus fucking Christ, I hate that comparison <laughs> so fucking much. Kokichi's... They are totally different. Kokichi's just an asshole. Kokichi is an asshole who is purposefully an asshole because that is his personality. He is a liar, he's an asshole, and they, he likes entertaining they himself. They literally say at the end, he was an asshole because... Because that is just, he's the true embodiment of a lie. That is all he is. And, like, Shin is a lie, but at the same time, he only lies to protect himself and his true personality. He is a good guy, it's just, he just... That's why I like the Kana dynamic so much with him, because it really boosts up his character. Yeah. Without the Kana dynamic, he'd feel like he's just an asshole for literally no reason. And making the vote between Kana and Shin at the end of the game is such a good fucking choice. Or not end of the game, end of that chapter. Because it really makes you think. Because I know the the sane, logical person would pick Shin to kill. Mm-hmm. But like, if you're like me and want to see your favorite character live, even if it mean, like, means they hate you the rest of the game, I mean, it's just a matter of like... When I was presented that choice, I was like... Could I really live in this game without Shen? And I was like, no. And I voted for John. <laughs> <laughs> He's too important to me, man. This guy is like, I will genuinely cry a river if this motherfucker gets killed in some stupid fucking way in the final chapter. Like, I think Nanki died. Keeping him alive this long means you have dedication to the character. So I feel like he'll give some kind of reward for it. But it'd be like him getting to laugh at KG for KG being the sacrifice, which I think is like my penultimate dream for the final chapter. KG sacrifice would be so fucking awesome because he would totally just break his entire persona because he'd be so scared of actually dying and everything failing. Right. But so I can't, no, <laughs> no, it can't, it can't be. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, bro, Shin would probably be sitting there laughing his ass off of KG as a sacrifice. He would finally be a weakling in the face of Shin. It'd be so hype. But obviously, Brian would hate it. <laughs> we are two totally different people. It's uh, kind of it's kind of funny that the only three characters who are one hundred percent can't die are one of each of our characters. Exactly. Fucking. Who like? Uh, I mean, Sarah KG Gin. Sarah KG Gin. Gin is such a like. Who would have thought at the beginning of this game that Gin would be a survivor? <laughs> like and, Jesus, man. and making it through every scenario he's put into. Yeah, he out of all my fucking characters, he always pulls through. He literally did. He's done more on the team than like three or four of the people who we had. KJ, they also tried to make you think died like three different times during chapter three. Yeah, I like the. Uh, the it was a roller thing. coaster, bro. Yeah, with him doing his own thing with Kitaro. <laughs> I just love that. The KG Kitaro and Mai? Bro. The wink up, bro. The <laughs> goat wink up. <laughs> that that shit, I, I was slamming my desk so hard when Kitaro came up. <laughs> I was so Oh, angry. yeah. <laughs> and then the morning. <laughs> morning? It was so hype, man. It was so hype. But still, it I is, just fucking... That is the coolest it. CG in the game. It really <laughs> is. I mean, honestly... But ironically. I think... The thing about Chapter 3 that I like is very confusing for me is that it has some of the best moments in the game, but also has some of the worst moments in the game. Like the True. Hinako twist and stuff so, like that. Some, yeah, of it pretty... is, some of it's like boring or slow, and other parts are... Oh my yeah, God. it goes fucking nuts. Like, I think the banquet overall is like the best thing in the game. Really? But like, yeah, I think overall, I, I have such a bias towards the Chapter 2 main game, but I think the banquet is like... It, it's such like a perfect demonstration of how good Nakidai has gotten at the illusion of choice. This motherfucker is like, yeah, you have a choice in everything. Meanwhile, oh, sorry, three of the dummies have to die. <laughs> and you only end up with one by the end. It's like... Wait, it's is it possible nuts. to go without any dummies? Uh, you, uh, in my game, which was... <clears throat> I lost, like, everyone that was possible. <laughs> the only ones I went in with were my and Kuramata. So my banquet was only my Kuramata, Shin, Gin, Sarah... And Kitaro. That was it. 
Wait, so how do they... F oh, they fill the bodies with the corpses. Yeah, and then with Mai's finger thing, you know, like with her hands being replaced by Midori's, if you don't have her around because she dies in the Maple fight, uh, Kitaro just figures it out. Oh. So, they have to, like, fill in the blanks somehow. There's different dialogue and all that. Regardless... But, oh, yeah, Brian, regardless of, like, the spoiler with Kitaro, like, did that, did that twist, like... How'd you feel about that? Yeah, do you think it was good? Bad? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was, it was still pretty good. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I think it's like one of the best twists in the game. I, like even seeing the spread of him in the coffin, like you can't detect, like, oh, he's a doll, you know? Yeah, that part is hard to tell. That, that Brian just knew he was the one in the coffin. Yeah, no, 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 it still, it still worked. It was fine. Yeah, I just, I think the best part of the Kitara twist is just the after where he dies. Because goddamn. I, I just, I'm so attached to Kitaro and Gin's relationship. It's just I, so fucking Yeah, the good. slow deaths definitely hurt more than the ones that, like... like, like, I, really like Yeah, like like I said, Alice was more shocked than, like, oh my god. Yeah, which, it was also perfect for what it was. Like, the perfect insta-death. Yeah, it's something like that. It so was so cool. sudden. Just how that happened, yeah. The Rekko one is even fucking worse, man. The fact that Ranger just brings out, like... Oh, the real Reco and the doll Reco, and then it's like, okay, you guys. He throws a knife, and he's like, okay, you guys, just fight it out, man. And whatever one wins, wins. And then the doll wins, and then she just pulls up from Wait, the so car. How do they? Oh, do they fight in the same room? Yeah, they fight in the room of rubble, or room of rubble, the room of lies. And then Alice watches the whole thing, <laughs> and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> but still, I mean, it's fucking. Also, uh. I want to, like, because I didn't really talk about it when we finished the game, I really want to elaborate on why I like Meteor so much. Because I feel like, like you guys probably think, oh, it, half of it's because he's so related to Shin. Mm -hmm. Which, that isn't the full reason. I think the fact that I like uh, Meteor so much, like I said before, one, he is easily the, um, what's it called? The best villain when it comes to villainous acts. This motherfucker is so goddamn despicable. It is unbelievable. He has no... Like, there's no reason to sympathize with him. He is just an absolute douchebag through and through. Yeah. And, like, at the end, cool. he actually gets his comeuppance and gets killed. Like, he actually gets an embarrassing, pathetic death. Like, befitting someone like him. I was gonna say, being how much you hyped him up and how much it seemed the community hyped him up, I expect something way bigger. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, I think is he's, like, the first villain that really gets time in this game. Comparatively to Ranger and Gashu and Sofflin and Miley, who are... Miley, I don't like that much, but the other three are great characters. It's just I, that they honestly, don't get much time. I barely consider Sofflin a villain. It's more like... Yeah, at this point, it's more of an anti-hero. Yes, yeah, yeah. Sofflin's an anti-hero. Yeah, but still. Another thing about Meteri is that, like... I do appreciate the fact of, like, the little things, like, when Mai gets revealed that she's wearing his hands and he starts cackling in the fucking coffin, he thinks it's so goddamn funny. Like, that shit makes me want to punch that dude in the face so bad. You know what I'll say? I think Meteor is more of a Kokichi. Yeah, he easily. He is easily more of a Kokichi character. Hey, that might be why I like him so much. But, <laughs> in reality, he is just the most evil motherfucker out there. Crap, that's just the way to go for Floor Masters, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I could told. Look, I can respect having Gashu as your favorite floor master for both of you. I just, I have a bias towards Meteor. <laughs> yeah, he was awesome, but yeah, no, I do completely understand. Meteor definitely was like a great as like a villain. Yeah, he was so fucking hateable. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I want to kill that yeah. motherfucker. I'll say Gashu is is like villain wise is my favorite floor master, but overall, regard disregarding for, uh, like evilness and moron personality, it's definitely soft one. Yeah, Sofflin, it just has the most like unanswered questions. But I'll be honest, it's also probably because of Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sofflin, yeah, come really. on. And the she thing is, like, I love Ranger too, but like, I just wish Ranger didn't die so early, man. No. We could have lived the entire... Like, we could have had like Ranger and Gashu being like the big villains. I get the reason they killed him, because they have like the whole thing with <sighs> Rio Laser. <laughs> <laughs> what a God, what a ruined twist. the entire fucking scene, man. Me and Brian were doing so good, and then she had to say, "No, real laser," and then we both started laughing. <laughs> so <laughs> it was so bad, but that that entire scene was so good too. Are in that dumb fucking name.
I love that scene. Because Ranger is literally just like a, uh, a doll that hates humans because he's so jealous of their emotions. And then he finally gets to feel what the emotions feel like. Yeah. That's and it's a great scene. Good. Yeah, it's a great scene. But, I mean... I mean, speaking of soft one, guys... <laughs> Baddest character in the oh, game? Oh, baddest bitch. <laughs> okay, come on. I, I can actually answer. Bro, bro, I, got, I gotta ask. Is that like, an, is that like unironically your opinion about her? <laughs> Brian, no. fess up, man. Uh, it started as a joke. Oh. <laughs> but I don't think it's a joke. The mouth, the no. frog eyes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Sofflin, uh, she's a little weird looking. A little. <laughs> She's got the curves. She's got. The- oh, mother of God! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, now, <clears throat> now is. I love now. I'm in love with her. I would marry now. Uh-huh. Now is my your turn to die, waifu. <laughs> my is fucking hot though. Like if I were go like purely based off of fucking hot, I. <laughs> <laughs> go with my. Yeah, um, yeah, my is up and there. The Buffalo is the guilty pleasure. I love how that's like the one that Brian's the most talkative on. <laughs> Out of all the I things we've waiting talked for this so topic. Far. Okay, I can answer this one pretty confidently. Out of the girls, it's either now or now or Reko, and then out of the men, it's <laughs> KG oh, and. Yeah. Hold up, if we're talking about men, KG? KG oh. Kai, probably. Damn. Kai is so fucking hot, man. And Kutara is pretty bad, too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I just think... I. But, oh, why am I talking more about the men than the girls? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like, literally, no, I think that, like... <laughs> no, the thing is about, like, a character like Shin, you know, like, I think he's cute, but I don't think he's, like, hot. You know? I think he has his moments. Overall, he's a pretty mid-looking person. But, like, sometimes yeah, he has his moments. I think Shin's kind of ugly. Yeah, I think he has... He looks like a homeless person, to be fair. But he has his moments where he's pretty good-looking. Some spits really do him justice. Kuramata, though? Holy sh... <laughs> Bro, <laughs> with that voice kind of you gave bad. him, that was awful. Oh, yeah, the anime oh. voice... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brian is in love with my Karamata. I am. Every time we talk about the voice, like, oh, my God, Jack's Karamata? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. So awesome. But still. Um, what about you, Mars, Chris? Uh, okay, okay. So for the female, it's either Anzu or Reko. Yeah, fair. Reko is yep, bad. Yep, that is your type, those two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reko though, uh, if her, like her sprites aren't that attractive, but the fan art of her is really good. Oh, I like Reko in the CGs. Oh yeah, Reko in the CGs is also a lot better. Her sprites are more masculine, honestly. They are. I don't like how she always has her hand up like that. Uh, my profile picture. Well. Guys... Oh my god, that is like my, one of my favorite CGs in the game. Yeah, you guys can't see it, but it's the uh, it's <laughs> when she's at the coffee shop. Yeah, she looks hell. Yeah. She's like you the baddest character in the yeah, game. In that. that in the walkthrough. Yeah, <laughs> she is hella. She is the baddest character in the game in that CG. Hell Easily. yeah! Um, There's no contest for that one. And then for the men, uh, Kuramata obviously is yeah Kuramata. And then I actually really like Alice. Yeah, Alice. I was I was about to talk about Alice. I think that he's like he's like a specific type of man. Like um, he's a good looking dude. I like his like at first. I, yeah, I think we said it earlier too. Like he looks kind of stupid when you first see him, but then. Yeah, then it grows on you. Yeah, and then also whenever I draw him, I like to draw the uh, his his blue poof. Yeah, I love the side of his head, man. I would marry the you side think, of the bro's head. You think you think half his head is blue, or you think it's a mohawk that's just a little too long? Literally. Also, wait, I totally forgot. Out of all the girls, like literally, scrap Reko, scrap the other one. I'm pretty sure Sarah's the best looking girl in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I think Sarah's easily the best yeah. girl in the game. <laughs> but she's That's the protagonist. It. You don't really get to see her. That is true. And her sprites look kind of fucking weird. Oh, also, if I had to pick a third one for the guys, Kai. He's like the pretty boy. Yeah, Kai is so pretty, man. <laughs> he's beautiful. Kai is beautiful. Oh. And with the voice that I got... And then, uh, and then my, oh. my third choice. God, that oh. voice, man. Ooh. I gotta say, God. though, when we first started playing, I, I thought Nao was very cute. Yeah, but now, like, like her sprites... I like, I like her, like, 80s man. hair. 
I yeah. thought Nat was ugly when we first started. Really? And then he, <laughs> she really <laughs> grew on Brian. And then, and then uh, she actually like got a great fucking character arc and uh, yeah. became hot. Yeah, she she would have had the biggest like character go up in the whole game. <laughs> yeah. An amazing arc, like her, like her and Kutara, bro. They had the best arcs, easily. Very much. The 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 the, 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 the winners, the goats, yeah. the, <laughs> the goats, and goats, the goats. Yes, sir. And then we got to talk about my guilty pleasure character for uh for the looks. You know, we got to talk about Ramaru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ramaru, holy crap! Also, also grew on me. Yeah, yeah. Ramaru <laughs> grew on me definitely. I love the con candy hair. It looks so stupid. You know, it looks like um, uh, the spec from Horton Hears a Who. <laughs> That's he's so bad, bro. He's so bad. I really like. I realized it just now, but I, I've done it for a few of my my own characters. But I really like like the half jacket. Oh yeah, that shit's freaking like Kaito. Mm. Kaito's like top three design thing around, but too. No, 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 not like half on. Like, oh, you just mean a half jacket? Yeah, like Kuramata's only goes down to his chest. Yeah, that's just pretty fucking sweet. I like that kind of thing. Long mask these. Thank you. Oh, oh. God, God bless man. you. Thank. You. Thank. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, voice in my head. Oh, L -L that, that brings me to another topic. What's everyone's favorite? Okay, first we'll do this. What's everyone's favorite standalone bit? The you part that always know. pets me no matter what. In <laughs> the end, we're, we're all just doing the outros normally. We do it in all of our voices. <laughs> Jack goes, KG, there you are something with your pants. <laughs> <laughs> what the balls are out? The balls are out. <laughs> that, part was, that part was too absolutely perfect. It makes yeah, me crack up. It is so time. fucking good. <laughs> that thing, the fucking... Joe and Kai thing on the camera. <laughs> and then the fucking uh, any oh time the Kitaro and her voices thing for the running gag, if that's gonna be a question. I yeah, that, that, that was good. that was the next question. What's your favorite running gag? <laughs> the Kitaro voice. I know it started only like the like middle of chapter two, but that shit was hilarious. <laughs> the voice in my head acting up again. That's what gave him all of his personality. <laughs> the fucking voices in his head. Man unintentionally kept breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Either that one or now hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now hold on. That always made me laugh no matter what. The one of, one of my favorites was uh, the occasional Hey Sarah. The, hey, Sa hey Sarah. Oh, yeah. Sarah. <laughs> there was a part in the final attraction where like it's a really serious moment and I was just like, Hey Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I just in the middle of it, it was totally silent. I'm a pickle, Sarah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what else is there that we fucking did? What else what are funny things that we do, guys? Over like 35 parts. Yeah. How oh, many yeah. times do you play sex with our characters? Oh, uh, me and Brian did that about at 10 least times. Once every <laughs> me and Jack did at least once per episode. Oh. Yeah, with Kutaro and KG specifically. <laughs> yeah. Every single time. You know the moment, like, people Chris really is like gone. so and KG. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, they thought that was hot as fuck. <laughs> that one, oh. Yeah, that was another sex fantasy me and Brian had. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know it was a bad, like a bad scene was coming every time you heard it. Like when Chris is going, you heard, hey, Gage. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Every time I went to sex. I, every don't, I, don't, time. I don't know if it was this last episode or the one before that, but you were doing like something with, with the guys and like their balls. And then I did, I came in as Connor like, what did I miss? And oh. then there's like 10 seconds of silence. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were like, welcome back to the shed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, I think that like, and also like, the thing about Kutara that I liked is that, like, he's the only character where I said a name entirely differently. The fucking Gaiji! Yeah! Hey, Gaiji! Hey, Gaiji! Only character I said a name, like, weird. Every other <laughs> character I said just fine, but I had to say, hey, Gaiji! He's the only name, too. Even while I was being serious, I would say Gaiji instead of Keiji. I'm trying to think of any more running gags we did. We're so funny. We got we like twenty more, right? <laughs> we are hilarious. We are peak. Or just standalone stuff. Yeah, no, the standalones are harder oh, to remember. Uh, anything with Mishima. Oh, every <laughs> single time the monitor turn up, I'm like, no, no, <laughs> dude. Every time Mishima gets folded, bro. It's okay. It's just, it's just the monitor's just turning <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, the, it burns. <laughs> oh, it burns. <laughs> old man. That part was dude, iconic. Dude, turn it back on, old man. I had to fucking, I had to literally like brief Brian that the monitor was just shutting off. Yeah. 
Like, and he was still like, no! <laughs> Bro was so sad. Yeah. So freaking sad, man. Um, I mean, this is just Gin talking about Gin. Oh, meow was yeah, the Gin, the <laughs> fucking... Yeah. When we first started playing the game, we thought the Meow was hilarious. You yeah, you no. Bring, like, everywhere. <laughs> I successfully conditioned you guys to not laugh at the Meow every time. Yeah. Because Valsal you had to hear it so hilarious. much. Yeah, they're the only running joke yeah, I ever game. That. We would walk around game. in public screaming meow. Yeah, meow. Yeah, it was fucking... <laughs> it, like really loud. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's <laughs> anger. I was like, what? <laughs> but yeah, the only running joke I had with Gim was the fucking rapping. I did that like once per chapter. <laughs> I'd randomly say something and like turn into a rap. <laughs> but I don't remember any of them though. I like yeah. that the uh, when I got when the it was KG as a protagonist, I just fucking forced Alice to be your inner voice. Yeah, no, she at least could talk somewhat. <laughs> but the only one I remember from like the Gen rapping is the one like I think it's in an upload episode where I was just like, you know, like I just started saying like riggedy 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 what meow or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you did. And then my Brian's like, that was kind of fire. Because <laughs> 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 that just went on my line like it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> really wasn't what, meow? really wasn't touching my inner child when doing <laughs> that, that was kind of fire <laughs> yeah really wasn't touching my inner child yeah um but i'm the only person who has such low human decency to do a character like Gen at 19 years old <laughs> 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 yeah. but you know what someone had to do it someone had to did do we, it did we oh wait Gen is like up for grabs in the next playthrough, isn't it? He? He oh, is. Bet. Would anyone even do <laughs> him? Like, who will be the next skin? Yeah, like who will what, carry the legacy? What, look, watch this. We're gonna spin the wheel, and Jack's gonna get him. Yeah, well, I'll get him again. I mean, honestly, like my gin is fine. You know, like it's it's not my favorite voice of mine, but it's probably my most consistent one. It did not change at all through the entire game. I definitely struggle with it, especially at the hours that we record. Yeah, I because I can get loud. It's just the the fu- the only time was the fucking meow and then Jack. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it had to be on a fucking meow too. <laughs> Bro, you must have been so embarrassed. <laughs> That's my son, huh? That's my what son. I raised huh? my nineteen-year-old boy <laughs> sitting there with his friends meowing. <laughs> what a world! Oh my god, your mom! Also, like, your mom's like, I watched the video. Why do you do that? Yeah, what are, she did ask me that. She was like, "What is that character?" And I'm like, um, "No way, really." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Um, that's um one of my favorites actually." And she's like, "Really, really?" You, you just explained <laughs> that he has autism. Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, he's like he's like the autistic, you know, what's what's the word? The autistic figurehead of the game, yeah, you the know, autistic rep. The autistic rep. That's the one. He's autistic. Rep. She actually has watched the videos. Yeah, she's watched like one or two of them. Yeah. Oh my god. Whenever she said if they're like she's bored and it's on the recommended, she'll watch like twenty minutes. Oh Uh-oh. no! <laughs> oh, oh no! Nah. Oh no! Nah. Nah. It's okay, mom. If you're watching this, when it comes out in like a month, um, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I love you, Sarah. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Sarah. You're my best friend, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, oh, speaking hi. of uh, hi, Mrs. Speaking of my Jack parents. Mode. Today's a big day, or yesterday's a big day, actually. The my father's birthday. Oh. Happy yeah. birthday, Mr. Mood. Yeah, it was 57th. Big day. That's pretty big. Bro, pretty old. No way, yeah. I'm only 20. <laughs> no way, I'm going to be only 20 in, like, two months. That's crazy. No way. That's fucking crazy. And then Brian's going to be... <gasps> we go drinking age. <laughs> you're going to bl- be on the chalkboard. Let's yes! go. I'm going to be Can on the drink, drink, Brian. Brian Leonard. Brian Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. Yeah, um, but still. How long have you been recording? I just An hour. What time was. An hour? Do you want Do you want to hear it? It's 3 or 6 a.m. Wait, what? It's 3 or 6. Oh, I thought you said it was, it was let's go to 6 a.m. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about the game for that long. All right, so one hour, we got a few more hours left. Yeah. Let's talk about soft one. <laughs> okay, so soft one, guys. Yeah. But, um... Like, okay, let's cut this cut off. <laughs> oh, my God, I got no, my... Um, 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 Hear thanks. me out. Hear me uh, out. I hope you enjoy like your... Um, guilty, g- guilty pleasure, Hina, go. I get, <laughs> I get to uh, see you guys for your time to shine. 
Actually, by the time that um this is uh uploaded, your time to shine will probably be finished. So uh, uh, I guess um. Wait, are we doing? Wait, are we doing? We your... won't upload your time to shine like bumper videos. Um, you probably can, honestly. I mean, we could, but like that'd be kind of weird. It's up to the majority it, of the channel. Then we have to also make sure we don't spoil anything. True. Then you know what? I think it would work better if we did your turn to shine after it. Okay. Then and I also guess we keep the views. True. Then I guess we shall see y'all for your time to shine. Your time to shine, part one, coming next. Coming. Let's next. go. Bye, bye. Everybody on the back. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. bye.